For this project, we'll be comparing two different salary structures. The first one has a starting salary of 55,000, and we will be getting a 2% raise each year. So this is a geometric sequence where the multiplier B is one plus the rate. So if the rate is 2%, then the multiplier is 1.02. So let's fill this into the table under the geometric section. Starting with the salary, the initial salary is 55,000. So then to get the next year's salary, we want to use the geometric sequence by multiplying by 1.02. So we take the previous term, so equals, that's B3 times the multiplier, which is 1.02 enter and that gives us a raise so we want to do this all the way down to the end for 20 years so instead of typing each year what we can do is we can highlight so use the thick white cross highlight these two cells and then we can fill drag use the little green corner box and if we see on the right hand side here it's counting down by one each time so then it goes all the way to 20 here and then we can drag fill this equation all the way down and if we double click in any of these cells we can see to get this cell in B21 or on year after 18 years we take the previous cell B20 and multiply it by 1.02 so then to get the raise from one year to the next we just find the difference from the current year to the previous year so we're going to be doing an equation again equals take the current year salary and this one is b4 and then find the difference so subtract the previous year salary b3 hit enter and we see the difference is one thousand one hundred dollars and then we can just instead of drag filling clicking and drag we can just double click the little green box here and it'll fill all the way through and we can see just double click this last one yeah it's doing the difference between the previous two salaries now to get the sum, we want to use the sum function. So we're going to be adding all the salaries so far. So we would use sum. And we want to do the cells B3 and B4. So B3 and B4. And we hit enter. And that adds those two together. Now if we watch what happens if we try to drag fill we click on these two it's only adding the previous two salaries but we want to add all of the previous salaries so we're going to have to redo this if we double click back so we can edit this what we can do is we can put a dollar sign in front of the three here after the b and what this tells excel to do is to stay on cell b3 but then when we drag fill the ending value in the range will change. So if we hit enter, this value stays the same, but if we uh, double click to drag fill, now we can see if we double click on one of these cells, it's, it is adding up, it's summing all the cells from B3 to B22 in this case. So the first value, the starting value is not changing, that's staying on B3. But then the ending value or the ending cell in the range is the one that's changing when we do the drag fill. Now we want to compare this geometric salary raise to the arithmetic salary raise. So here we're told we get a $1,100 raise each year, a flat rate. We have the same starting salary, which is 55,000. And then to get the next year's salary, we just add 1,100. So we take the previous year's salary, which is H three and we add 1100 hit enter and that's our new salary and then we want to do this all the way down so we want to highlight so the thick white cross put the cursor right in the middle of the cell click and drag highlight and then now we have these two cells highlighted we can drag fill all the way down excel will recognize the pattern and just count up by one until we get to the end here so we can drag fill this formula all the way down that we just made 
if we double click any of these cells, we can see to get this value, we took the previous salary and added 1,100. Hit enter. So now we want to sum all of the salaries. So starting with this first sum, we just want to add together the, these two salaries from the starting salary to the salary after year one. So this is equals, we're doing the sum function, sum, open the parenthesis. We're starting at h3, but we want to do what we did on the other one. We want to tell Excel to stay at that starting value of h3. So we use the dollar sign, three. So that says stay on h3, colon, uh, we're going to, for this one, just H4. So we're just summing these two salaries, H3 and H4. And then if we double click to fill the equation down, we can double click on this last cell and it looks good. It's summing or adding up all of the previous year's salaries.